Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. I have the shotgun. It is fully loaded. I have the gas tank. I am literally standing on top of it. Let's blow it up. Okay. Bad idea. Everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Granny. So today, I was thinking, instead of playing with Granny, why don't we play on practice mode? Because there's actually some questions that I have, and I'm, I'm gonna turn on extra locks just to kind of figure out those extra lock situations, see if there's anything new. I don't think there is, but we're just gonna test it out. I want to see what happens when you actually beat the game when Granny's not there. Because as we know, Granny went grocery shopping for her pet spider. No, we don't actually know where Granny went, but what happens when you actually beat the game? Now, keep in mind, I am using the Nose Rep mod here. I'm, I'm gonna avoid actually using it, but there are some little things that I wanna test out. One of the main things that I wanna test out, in addition to figuring out what happens when you beat the game on practice mode, is what happens if you die five times on practice mode. Normally, Granny will get you. She'll either cut off your head or feed you to her pet spider, but in this case, what happens if she's not here? Let's go, let's double check that she's away. I'll be back soon. I wish she would say that. I wish like when you start practice mode, you hear her say that and then she closes the door and locks like 4,000 different locks. It's just the sound of her locking the door for like 60 seconds. I like the sound of that. But what we need to do is get ourselves killed five times. Can you go beyond five days? Can you go beyond six days? I don't know. So I'm just gonna jump off of this ledge <laughs> many, many times. Actually, another thing that I didn't even think about, uh, when we wake up on day two, I'm pretty sure that the door is open. It's not locked. Cause if it was locked, there would be no way for us to escape. We would be trapped in this room forever, or at least until Granny gets back from her grocery shopping. Let's see, we can open the door. So no concerns there. But I seriously want to see if there's any kind of like hidden Easter eggs by doing this kind of stuff on practice mode because it's unconventional. Normally you have granny to worry about. In this case, we don't have to worry about granny at all. So what actually happens to us if we kill ourselves, which is kind of a funny idea. We're like, we're struggling and fighting to survive this terrible situation where this old lady has trapped us inside of her house and we're doing everything that we can to escape. She finally leaves. She leaves us alone. We no longer have to worry about getting hit with a bat. And what do we decide to do? Jump off of the, the roof. I'm gonna call this the roof. I know this isn't the roof, but it's high enough to cause us to like crush our legs. We're basically shattering our legs into powder, which sounds real bad long term really really bad getting strawberry jam all over my screen it's not looking good i got a real bad limp too all right here we go number five this this will do it right was it day five or is this day four well let's see what's going on here day five the last day okay never mind I, my math was just just a little off it's high level math okay you gotta spare me the critiques counting to five it's, it's it's tough, tough stuff. It did say that day five was the last day. So what's gonna happen here? I have no idea, but I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm actually genuinely interested to see what happens here. Does granny come back? That's it. Is that seriously it? That's all you're going? That was incredibly disappointing. I am, yeah, disappointment. This is my disappointed face. You're looking at it. Okay, well, at least we know. At least we know, and knowing is half the battle. You know, the, the more you know, ding, 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 the, the star, the, the rainbow star. Anyways, moving along. Okay, so this time we're gonna change things up. I actually, I wonder, do you think it changes it if you get killed by the spider? Like on the last day? Maybe that's something that we'll test after we get out of Granny's house. But let's first focus on escaping Granny's house on practice mode to see what happens. 
and maybe we'll do both. We'll do the uh, the regular door, and we'll also do the car escape because it's worth testing. It's one of those things that I'm just I'm really interested in. You know, when you escape her house using the car when she's home, she's standing behind you. She's She's got her bat. She's like, oh no, I let them go. So what does she do in this situation? Since she's not here. We have to see if the developers thought of that. So I got the weapon key out of the car. It's not a huge thing that we necessarily need because we don't have to worry about granny. But at the very least, we can knock down the screwdriver. It's crazy how much this game has changed over time. I remember the first time I played it, which was back in February. It was either January or February. Never expected it to become the sensation that it has become at this point in time. But the puzzles were like way easier. There was so many less steps to everything. Now it's it's gotten really complicated. Now there's multiple ways to escape her house. It's it's really cool. It's it's cool to see a game change over time like this. I like how the developers kind of keep iterating on their ideas and they do it pretty consistently too. Like they come out with a new update I would say every 1 to 2 months, which is actually really impressive. All right, so we got the safe key inside of our little cubby hole here. So let's see what's inside of the safe. We're gonna focus on opening the front door this time though. And then next time uh, we'll focus on fixing the car. Well, that's not gonna do me much good, is it? I don't want the car battery. We're not fixing the car today. So that was basically a waste of time. <laughs> we didn't have to do that. We didn't have to knock the screwdriver down. We didn't have to get the safe key. We didn't have to open the safe and find the car battery because we don't care about the car right now. I mean, technically, I guess I could just cheat my way through it, but I feel like this is good practice. And this is kind of the point of practice mode is to practice in case you were wondering you know, what that word actually means. Obviously, it's for practicing. But you, you get my point. If I just cheat my way through practice mode, how's that gonna make me any better at this game? All right, let's check out the bathroom. See if anything is in here. Doesn't look like it. Did I already come in here? No. How, why is the door open though? Maybe I did, I don't know. I'm losing my mind. I tend to do that quite a bit. The watermelon. We did see the watermelon, right? Yeah, hello. We'll take you into the backyard, chop you in half. Let's just check these cabinets here real quick. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to deal with the spider, so if we can find meat for the spider, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Wow, there is nothing in this kitchen. Okay, there's a cog wheel in there. How hilarious would it be if there was meat inside of the watermelon? Now that would be super bizarre. I want a watermelon that's full of steak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the master key. So that is definitely something that we need. I'm glad we found it. Is there anything in the shed? Uh, oh, meat. Okay. So we can deal with the spider upstairs, but actually we haven't actually found the special key yet. So we still need to find that. I did find all the pieces of the shotgun. So I guess even if we didn't have the meat, we could still shoot the spider, which I actually really enjoy doing because the spider is mean and I don't like it. And let's be real, the spider doesn't like me either. So it's a mutual feeling for each other. All right, the wire cutters are over here, but we should check this room here real quick. Just see if anything, the wrench, we don't need that, but we can definitely use the wire cutters. So let's take these upstairs and I don't remember what was actually behind the fan upstairs. Was it a cog? It may have been a cog. Yeah, it's definitely a cog wheel. All right, so we'll go ahead, do that, and then get me out of this jail cell. I don't like it here. Please, let me out. I don't like it, I'm claustrophobic. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna throw this down. Nope, that didn't work. There we go, much better. All right, let's do the same thing with the cog wheel here. Throw that down the hole. Perfect. So I think we should do a little bit more exploring. Ooh, actually check these drawers here real quick. Okay, let's do a little bit more exploring of the secret area over here. We haven't checked the teddy room. Let's see if anything, yep. Okay, we've got the winch handle for the well. Let's just double check that there's not anything in there with Teddy. Okay, looks good. Check these drawers here real quick. Nothing in there. Check the meat closet, of course. Nothing in the meat closet. I still wish that we could take this meat and give it to the spider, but spiders apparently don't like that kind of meat. They like people. And I'm pretty sure that's not a big old slab of a person. Pretty sure that's cow. At least I hope it is. All right, there's the special key. 
So we'll come back for you and let's head outside and see what's inside of the well. What could be inside? Oh, you know what? It's probably the playhouse key. Maybe I could be wrong. I could actually be very wrong, but let's see. That is definitely not the playhouse key. That is a piece of the engine, which we do not need. Get out of my life. Oh, I totally forgot about this. We turned on extra locks, so we're going to have to take care of that as well. Well, we can grab this meat, although we can't take it all the way upstairs yet because we still have to open up the special room. So I'm just going to drop the meat right there, grab the special key, and take it all the way upstairs. Ooh, we found the code. That's good. We'll come back for that. Just make a mental note. Padlock code is in the basement. All right, let's drop this in here. Open. There we go. Now we need to go all the way back downstairs and grab the meat. The human meat. Mmm. That's some good people right there. Okay. Hopefully I can pull this off. I just need to put this on the plate. Boom. There you go. Oh, who's hungry? Who's a hungry little spider? Okay, get the heck out of here. What is in here? Go, 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 go. Go faster. I don't know how long. <gasps> no! I got stuck on the railing of the staircase and got bit by a giant tarantula. I don't, I don't like that. All right, well, hopefully I can pick up the playhouse key without getting attacked by a giant spider again. I want you to know that spider, spider, I want to talk to you right now. Okay, I want you to know that instead of shooting you with a shotgun, I gave you a slab of meat, and this is how you repaid me. So guess what's going to happen next time? Oh, yeah, you're getting shot. All right, I'm leaving now. I'm out of here. Hopefully you heard me. All right, get into the playhouse, and then we have both of the cogs already. Uh, one cog is right there. All right, grab that guy, take it back to the playhouse, and boop. There you go. And then the other one should be sitting right next to the front door, because I threw it down there. And there you are. Oh, I thought there was two cogwheels there for a second. The master key looked like the red cogwheel. For just a second there, it's kind of throwing me off. We're okay. Everything's okay. No, I have not been drinking. How dare you accuse me of that? Boop. There we go. Grab the padlock key. Yes, we need this. So we are going to have to take care of this situation over here. Uh, we need the screwdriver and I think the wire cutters. No, no, no. It's just a lever that you have to pull. So we just need the screwdriver. So let's take care of this like so. Drop that. What did I do with the wire cut? Oh, I threw them down. That's right. I'm so smart. I don't even remember my own actions. Also, we need to find this battery. Shoot. I have no idea where that would be. All right. Well, let's at least take care of this situation over here. Okay. And then we can grab the screwdriver, which should be down here. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Hey, screwdriver. Come with me if you want to live. Can I just plop this car battery into the door with that? work probably not granny needs to go grocery shopping more often because this is way easier all right let's see can we yes we can okay just pull the lever easy enough don't need the screwdriver anymore the only thing that we really need to find at this point is that battery which i have not seen anywhere and i honestly have no idea where it would be but we just gotta do our due diligence and keep on searching just double checking these cabinets again i don't think there was anything in here the watermelon was in there uh, we also need to take care of the padlock code which is right down here see i remembered that one not too shabby boom done with that okay if you were a battery for a lock on a door which is a weird thing where would you hide i have no idea I feel like I've searched everywhere, so the only explanation is that I just completely looked past it. Toilet battery. Nope. No toilet batteries. Not today. Bathtub battery? Not gonna happen. Could it be in the room behind the bookshelf? I don't think so. Again, I don't think they hide stuff inside of here because it's actually just an Easter egg. Yeah, nope, nothing there. Check these drawers again. Nope, nothing. Could it be be somewhere upstairs with spider-man again like is there another spot for something to be hiding up here honestly it doesn't look like it yeah i don't see anything up here so i really don't think it's up here double check this area let's make sure we've got the gas tank over here but that is certainly not a battery for a door so i'm gonna throw you don't blow up please don't blow up that's another thing that i actually want to test can you blow yourself up we know we can blow up the gas can but 
if we shoot it while we're standing right next to it, will it hurt us? I think I might have to test that. Battery, oh my gosh, you were hiding up here, okay. Well, I'm glad we found it, so let's get the heck out of here. Plop this guy right there. Okay, we're done. Uh, but before we leave, let's, let's just test this out. Let's give ourselves the shotgun. Can I do that? Doesn't look like I actually can just give myself the shotgun. So I guess I'm gonna have to build the shotgun the old-fashioned way, which is okay. We know where all the pieces are. Let me do that real quick, and then let's try to blow ourselves up, because why not? When Granny's away, the kids will play with shotguns. Okay, I have the shotgun. It is fully loaded. I have the gas tank. I am literally standing on top of it. Let's blow it up. Okay. Bad idea. But at least we know. Don't stand on gas cans and shoot them with shotguns. Hopefully you guys already knew that, but now you know for sure. You're welcome. All right, let's get out of Granny's house. Let's see if we are presented with any kind of new ending. I ask for anything. What's gonna happen? Let's go. Uh. A what? Uh, what? I interesting. That is actually really interesting. Good job. You managed to escape from Granny's house. If you feel ready, try again, but this time when Granny is home. Winky face. I like that. I like that. It, it's almost like Granny, you're, you're long gone. Granny came home and she noticed that her door's open. She's got all her groceries, you know, she's lugging in all of her groceries. Can you help me with my groceries? No, we're gone. We're, we're out of here. We're out of here, lady. I don't want to get fed to your pet spider, all right? So back off. Okay, so that's actually super cool. Let's do it again, but this time, let's get out using the car. Now this time, I am gonna cheat a little bit because it's faster. Unfortunately, you can't actually spawn all of the items that you need for the car, at least not yet. You can only spawn items that are used for the door. So technically, I probably should have reversed this whole situation. Whatever, it's fine. We need that gas tank up there. You know what I'll do? is I will just spawn the weapon key for myself. So weapon key, there you go. Give me the weapon key. I'm gonna turn off the Nulls Rep mod, but I am gonna keep the weapon or the item spawner open. Let's grab ourselves the crossbow so that we can get the gas tank. And then I guess we can figure out what, what's inside of the little cubby that we get the screwdriver from. So hopefully this doesn't blow up. I don't think it will, but you never know. Okay, we're good. Grab the screwdriver and let's go downstairs and check out the little cubby. What is in here? Safe key? Playhouse key. Interesting. I don't know if we need this or not, to be honest with you. We do need the padlock key because we need that to open up the garage. So at least we got that going for us. So this cogwheel was already outside. So I figured let's just drop it in here. Ooh, that is interesting. So uh, the car battery was just sitting there inside of the playhouse so technically we did need the playhouse key now i don't know if we need to get the other cog wheel we'll keep an eye out for it because we can't actually spawn it but that is interesting that items can just spawn inside of the playhouse good to know actually i'm just going to check the glove compartment here real quick see if anything is in there nope nothing all right let's drop this guy down there perfect and i guess since we're right next to the safe uh, let's spawn ourselves the safe key. Safe key. There you are. Hello. What's in the safe? The winch handle. Okay. Let's see what's inside the well. Watermelon. I could have just spawned that, but we went through the process so we can feel better about ourselves. What do we got? Padlock key. Okay. So, I mean, technically we did need this again. We could have just spawned it, but here we are. We have it, so let's use it on the garage door. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the garage door, so that's taken care of. Um, what else? Oh, we can spawn the car key, right? Yes, we can. Okay, so let's give ourselves the car key. Once again, I know this is cheating, but I just wanna get this one done quickly. Cause really all we're after is the ending. We already know we can fix the car. We just wanna see what happens at the end. All right, so what is over here? Oh, the engine part. We need that. And is there nothing inside of there? Oh, you know what? We probably spawned whatever was inside of there. We gave ourselves whatever item was behind that fan. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's go ahead and drop the engine part down the hole. 
Come on, you can do it. Uh, no, no, there you go, all right. We'll come back to that later. Uh, let's spawn the special key. There you are, all right. And let's open this up. And I think that the meat was right here. Yep, there you are. We're also looking for the spark plug. That ends up being inside of the drawers a lot of times. So I'm checking all the drawers as we make our way through here. All right, let's take care of Spider-Man here. Give him a nice meal. There you go, buddy. Enjoy that. I'm gonna grab what's ever, whatever is over here. Uh, spark plug, perfect. We need this. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Do not attack me. Good, good spider, obedient spider. I like that. Let's check the bathroom real quick. I don't think I actually came into the bathroom. I haven't. The door is still closed. There's nothing in here. Okay, so I think the only thing that we really need at this point is the wrench. So we need to find the wrench. Fill her up. Takes forever. So scary when Granny's actually walking around and you have to do this. Takes too long. All right, drop the gas tank. Remember, don't shoot it when you're standing on top of it. Life lessons from Kindly Kian. So I've looked for the wrench in all of the places that I normally find it and I don't see it. So I'm wondering if it might actually be in the little hidden cubby in the playhouse. So I found the other cog wheel. Let's go ahead and plop this where it belongs. And maybe there's a wrench in there? That is not a wrench, that is a master key. I don't need you. You disappoint me and make me sad. The microwave, of course. That's where I keep my wrench all the time, is inside of the microwave. So we're good. Let's fix up the car and let's get out of here. Just gotta hit all these. Boop, 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 boop. It's always tricky. Precision is tough with a tablet, you know? It's not the same as using a controller or mouse and keyboard. Okay, we should be good. Uh, let's grab the car key. Go ahead and close the hood and let's get inside. Here we go, start. All right, reverse. Yeah, feel that power. Here we go. Smash. All right, we have to do this, what, two more times? Yep, okay, I think this is it, right here. Get me out of here. Let's go. Boom. And no granny, of course, because she's gone. And we get the same message. Good job, you managed to escape from granny's house. If you feel ready, try again, but this time when granny is home and you get that nice little winky face. Thank you. So there you have it, myth busted. What happens when you beat the game when Granny's gone? She, she's just not there. I like how she shows up though in the regular ending in practice mode. Like she's like, what happened? Why is my door open? I locked that like 40 times. That door should not be open. A little less eventful in the, in the car escape way. She's just not there, which makes sense. But the most disappointing thing was dying in practice mode. It just gives you a game over. That's it, nothing. I wish like the spider would get you or something. I don't know. But guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Granny. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.